Hi folks. Hi folks, welcome. I'm just here doing a spot of trimming. Yeah, these are some tea bowls that I threw that I'm just um, um, trimming on this mat. So I just thought I'd bring you in on it. I know it's nothing very exciting and new, but there's always something to learn, isn't there? <laughs> so. Yes, one doesn't want to go too narrow in the foot, otherwise a tea bowl, tea cup, um, it is unsteady isn't it? Yeah, the thing about these uh, tea bowls that you actually want to do them uh, lots of little details on the trimming of a foot, which um, they're all each one is different. You see, so when I do the initial cut, as you saw me that first cut cutting away, it's the corner of the, of the tool here. You see that that digs in and makes these makes these kind of lines that, uh, that are coming here on the foot there on the side of the foot that's a little new departure for me really but it's not something that I really thought out it just sort of happened you know as I was trimming I noticed that the tool was was um, creating those lines like that and you know when you have a, a happy accident that happens like that sometimes you know you, 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 you need to sort of be able to think oh yeah that's rather nice and I wonder how, how did that happen oh and then you, 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 you figure out how it happened and then you 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 repeat it, you see. Um, I've got one here that I... This is one that I um, paddled uh, with a, a butter pat. I'll show you. Hang on. Yeah, I got... I was giving a workshop uh, on the west coast of Seattle and somebody, Snohomish, Richard gave me this, he signed it. <laughs> so you see they can make great, so that's making that, that kind of uh, pattern you see, paddled. Actually I've got a new paddle to try which I haven't used yet and uh, I'll show you. It's, a, it's just one of my uh, regular paddles, you know, one of my, these kind. And I put this over it, you see. You know, this is, I think, it's a kind of mat, or one of those things they use for making sushi. So, yeah, I thought, yeah, I wonder what that would... you just got to experiment, haven't you? And try new things. 
That's what it's all about. So, let's bring that camera in a, a touch closer. I know you like detail. Oh yes, I know we like the detail. There it is. The thing about cutting, cutting these feet, I think you, they don't want to be overly dwelt upon. And you really want to sort of try and cut them fairly quickly. You want to get straight to the point. If you know what I mean. Get straight to the point of the... I've got a lot of dust here. Don't breathe, don't breathe, don't breathe. Okay, so yeah, you want to get straight to the point, I think, anyway. It's my own little, my own little philosophy, if you like, on, on, on doing these feet. I don't, I, it's, you, you have to work out your own method, don't you? So, first cut, you see, is, is, is a very kind of fairly direct, strong cut, cutting away like that, you see. Once I've, once I've centered it, okay, one finger there holding it down on the mat, you see, and then now, um, now I'm bearing in mind the width here, so I've got to be careful, but I'm going to do quite a strong cut, and then I dig the heel of the tool in here, because these trim tools you see have got the blade goes round the corner like this, so it keeps cutting, so we're going to Push down now, like that, you see, digging in the heel. Oop, okay, he's come off. Get back in there, boy. Not too fast on the wheel speed either, please. <laughs> no, we don't want too much speed. And then now establishing the what will be the edge, the outer edge there, like that. You see, it's kind of kind of digging in quite sort of forcefully in a way, isn't it? Now cutting this inside bit, it'll probably come off a little bit. Ah, there he is. I am not saying this is the best way of trimming these on this mat. Just what, I, it, what what's good about it is if you've got a a, a, a tea bowl tea cup that's got a little bit of an irregular rim, it doesn't damage the rim. You see by putting it flat down. You could I could put it into a chuck. That's another way of doing it. But I didn't. I don't have a chuck that's the right size. So at the moment, so I'm just I'm improvising this method and now you see it's difficult it gets difficult at this stage just to finish that inside bit really that's why I sometimes you see because I can't really apply too much pressure here because I've cut it and it might be a bit thin or thinner let's say and I don't want to Depress, depress it. So you put that on there like that. It's just a an old card, plastic card. You see, and then I can apply that 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 downward pressure that I need. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll just show you these as I do them. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, wait a minute, let me just pull that back. Otherwise you might be out of focus. So that's that. You want to sort of f figure out in your own thinking, in your own mind, what is like a, a good sense of, a good sense of balance, you know, between the overall diameter uh, through here and then what your foot should be, what you feel comfortable with. Now that, that, that may be a little bit personal to, to you. All right, so we do want to just 
pay attention here to the edge and it might be that we need to just despite the fact that I put it on this mat pushing it down into the mat can leave can leave a mark as well so just a little bit of putting it back on the wheel just a little bit of water there lightly just like that you see that's all well, that is all yeah I was sort of experimenting here with a bit of some of these T-bowls just doing some slightly different this is uh, This is one I paddled with a uh, with this one. You see, where's that mat? Where do you go? Oh, there he is. So, see the thing about T bowls is they are each one is an individual piece. Let's just do another cut here. So cutting it and then. Coming down. Yeah. You actually want slow wheel speed but quite forceful cutting, I think gives the best result. It's my two cents. Everybody has their own slightly different way of doing things. Also, don't want to have the clay too, don't leave it to get too hard before you trim. With these, with this kind of trimming, I, I, I find that you can get more sort of, uh, more feel into the, into the work if it's slightly soft. There's a bit of sunshine there, see if we can just get it in the sunshine for you. Get it in the sunshine. In the sunshine. Yeah. Um, you see there. Uh, that, so that you can see the how nicely that could behave with certain glaze on the top of that. Yeah, I won't make this a long clip, folks. Just, uh, uh, but it's good to talk about these things, isn't it? I mean, yeah, just. Touch up that lip there. Yeah, that's, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. And this one here was a rather wide one I did. In fact, this one I thought was totally lost, but I managed to save it. And um, so well, let's trim it. A little, uh, kind of a, a bigger, slightly bigger. Yeah. So center, take your tool, get them on center. Now, quite a vigorous cut there, you see. say this is soft I mean to take a piece like that and then if you can if you can mold it back into a into a you know and it holds its form there's still some some plasticity there you see left in, in the clay if that's that's how soft it is it's, and it's not that soft actually probably 
somebody like Hamada would be, Shoji Hamada would be trimming this somewhat softer. Yeah. I think the trick is being able to make the, the, the cuts um, very quickly and cleanly. My overall's a bit dusty, isn't it? Take it off then. Don't breathe dust. Take off the culprit. Get rid of the guy. Right, okay, let's have a look. Dee, 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 dee. Yeah, yeah th this T bowl I wasn't altogether happy with actually, but I, f I did do it. I was playing around with it and uh, experimenting, doing different things. And it ended up a bit of a, a bit of a. Uh, it's a little bit thin and a bit light, you know. You don't really want uh, tea bowls to be too thin. Um, oh, I've done that one. I've done that guy. Yeah, because if they if they're thin, you see they. They they conduct the heat of the the tea rather quickly through the outside, and you can't hold it. Uh, yeah, we'll do. Let's do one more here. So it, another way of holding this, you see, is in a, like a chuck that it would sit over like that, you throw a uh, slightly conical, conical form, which will, will, will uh, hold the pot. I'm going to do a slightly different foot on this one. Slightly different. Yeah, the tool, the t these tools actually, these trim tools are good. Good at cutting slightly soft clay, I find. Yeah, you need to know how to tap center, really. focus but anyway see this form this form is very you see it's got a belly here but then you see you got that that outward flare slightly outward flare there which is is actually very nice to drink out of 
if you have if you have that slight uh, flare there, I think it's more inviting, you know, for your lip. So these these I shall finish off in different ways. Um, some I might I want to actually do a bit of yeah do a bit of engraving, you know, with some porcelainous sort of slip and also um well, we've got some that have been paddled um oh and some sort of hackamy as well over them and in some engraved some that have got natural nice rather nice throwing lines you know you can leave uh, like that not I don't want it over the thing about these things I think you've just got to do them fairly quickly as I said before um, I've got one more here to do let's just do that one quickly one more there just one more Bear with me folks, we do one more. And then uh, get some clay, throw some, throw some, throw some tea bowls. It's good things to practice on, aren't they, tea bowls? Uh, the, you're trimming. Over there I've got my mirror, you see, and I'm using my mirror just to It's my third eye, you see, the mirror. You need a kick, you need one of these treadle wheels to do this. I think you can't trim like this on an electric wheel. You've just got to get that feel going, you know. See my leg. You know what? The, 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 you might think this is going at a consistent speed. It's not. It's it's in a regular speed. It's slightly fast, slow. You see. sound of whirring motors. No, we do not. See that this kind of um, uh, paddled um, pattern can actually, with wood ash sprayed over it, you know, the wood ash goes into all of the deep grooves and it can look really quite nice. Da, 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 da. There it is, folks. Hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, please go to my website. If you've never been there before, simonleachpottery.com. And yeah, we're going to get some more pots up there. It's looking a bit thin on the ground up there. I need to get some more work in up. And um, so go there, check it out. If you need a tool, if you need a throwing stick, one of these guys, or a some chamois leathers or a paddle, certain kinds of paddles we have there. 
cut off wire, these guys, you want to get one like, you want to get one like this. <laughs> yeah, you can go and buy mine. <laughs> but uh, you see how nicely, how, how nicely it, uh, it hangs? And it's twisted, you see? Toggles, not too big. Just nice size. You don't want those great big toggles like they have on those usual wires. And one toggle is bigger than the other, you notice. So the larger toggle, you see, hangs on the inside of the wheel. So your wire never falls out on the floor. I can take it, it's the right, the right, the right length immediately, and it's twisted. So a twisted wire gets, apart from putting a spiral on the bottom of your piece, but it introduces air underneath the pod which helps to lift the pot, to lift the pot when you've thrown it and cut it off, to lift it off the wheel, you see. That's why we have a twisted wire. Anyway. Yes, I'm looking for more people for these leech travel wheels. If anybody's interested, get in touch with me and we'll fix you up with one. What else can I say? What else can I say? I'll just say that. Keep practicing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Dee -dee -dee. Dee -dee -dee.